real ghosts? Don't be silly. Aha! There it is. Ugh, how did I ever think this was practical? This is insane. I can't believe you never told us about this. The whole experience really traumatized Scooby. He almost had a nervous breakdown, so we decided never to bring it up again. But you said there were 13 ghosts and you only caught 12. Didn't you think with one still on the loose that it might come up again someday? Listen, if you're worried about Scooby, don't be. He's conquered his demons. 12 of them, at least. Yes. What do you think? Whoa, who are you? You have a van, too? It's not a van. It's a strategic all-terrain mobile command unit. It looks like a van. It was a van. Then Vincent had a few upgrades installed. M.M.? Don't worry, Freddy. There can be only one mystery machine. What does it stand for, then? Let me guess. The mystery machine? Um, no, but that's way better. Let's call it that. But which door is it? There are dozens. No sign of a keyhole or a doorknob. Wait, Fred, stop the van. Say my lass, a myth forgotten. Man, that is really bad haiku or good haiku. I can never tell. Not a poem, an anagram. Ta-da! Mystery analysts of Gotham. <laughs> Word jumbles. Makes those long between mystery miles just fly by. And look, there's a gap in the bricks. Wait, something just hit me. Velma, give me your notebook. You said the other henchman's name was Dr. Wade Magney? But look what happens when you rearrange the letters. Edward Nigma. How could I have missed that? Word scrambles. You know it. Um, shouldn't we booby trap the doorway in case he tries to escape? Daphne, I think I know when and when not to booby trap a doorway. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> hmm. Just as Daphne and I suspected. While you guys were off chasing medals, Velma and I were busy solving the mystery. <laughs> it's only dust. This is all starting to make sense now. There's only one villain who could be responsible. Watch this. No way! I don't believe it. Believe it. We've got to warn Batman. Come on, gang. I'm gonna miss this. Creepy. Does he have a motive? Isn't creepy a motive? <laughs> you better keep an eye on Lewis and Bark over there. Got it. Scooby-Doo! Where are you? Sorry, Batman, they run off sometimes. A lot, actually. Okay, every single time. I still can't believe we're really finalists on Talent Star! Ah! Have I mentioned it's my favorite show? Once or twice. In this breath. Well, it is. And Brick Pimiento is the greatest host ever! I'm so excited! Wait, that's catchy! Eyes on the road! Eyes on the road! Right! Wow, Fred, that's beautiful. I really like you. It! I like it. Not you. I mean, I like you, but no. I, uh, 
Like your song? Thanks. I'll see what I can find out here in the building. Daphne, you come with... Yes! I'm going with Fred! <laughs> North, which way is that? Go left! No, right! Then left! <sighs> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... <laughs> oh! You make a cute couple. We're not a cute couple. I mean, we're not a couple, so we can't be a cute one. Although we would be if we were, which we're not. <laughs> I mean, it's not that we don't like each other. It's just we don't we don't like like each other. It's just not likely, <laughs> right, Fred? Or do we? We don't, right? Do we? I. Why are we talking about this so much? Can we just change the subject now, please? This is none of your business. Rainstorm over the ocean. Sunshine after the rain. Clouds rise up from the water. Nature's endless chain. The world keeps on spinning. See you in the morning. <sighs> he said he'll see me. Hmm. Uh. Trouble sleeping? <sighs> yeah. Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm fine. You're obviously not fine, Daphne. Why don't you tell me about it? I'm in love with Fred. <gasps> there, I said it. Really? Wow, I never would have... Gosh, that's a shocker. I've kept it a secret for so long. I just had to tell someone. Shouldn't you be telling someone else? Like, maybe Fred? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, no. I, I was hoping this competition would bring us closer, but even after all the time rehearsing and performing together, I just can't say anything. I even wrote a song to that tune Fred composed. It explains how I feel about him, but if I even think about singing it, I feel like I'm going to throw up or pass out or both. You have to tell him, Daph. You'll never know how he feels unless you talk to him. I can't. Maybe if I win Talent Star, that'd give me the confidence. Maybe then I could talk to him. Thelma, we have to win. We just have to! If you wanted to get my attention, you could have just said hello. I'm Melanie Staples. Nice to meet you, Melanie. Fred Jones. And this is everybody else. Chicken wing? Staples? Are you related to Dr. Ned Staples? Former astronaut and now brilliant NASA scientist? Yes, he's my father. And actually, I'm late for a demonstration of his latest invention. Hey, if you're not busy, would you care to join me? Well, as interesting as that sounds, Melanie, I'm afraid we couldn't possibly go because Fred has some more work to do on his trap, right, gang? Hey, wait up! I don't understand how this can be happening. Maybe someone has found a way to override Dr. Staples' system and is operating Mechamut by remote control. I agree. See, I'm just as smart as Melanie. <laughs> Trust me, Daphne. I'm not attracted to Melanie's brain. I mean, no. Oh my gosh, it's Steve Looker. He's so cute. He's not that cute. Maybe we should split up. Daphne and I could talk to the lab assistant. Good idea. If you don't mind, I'd like to tag along. Nope, I really don't think so. Sure. Oh. The more the merrier. <laughs> so, is your girlfriend a big reader too, or are you single? You know, I'm a pole vaulter myself. You are? Oh, well, sure. But <laughs> just for fun. I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Well, apparently it doesn't matter. I just don't get why everybody around here is falling all over themselves to get Melanie's attention. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> That ball, Steve Looker just made the finals. Isn't he amazing? Yeah, but how many mysteries has he solved? I'll search Steve's room for clues and stuff we have in common. What? Uh, wait! Seriously? There was no other place to jump? <laughs> hmm. 
You heard the man. Paw to the metal. Superpowered heroes and villains in the mystery machine. We won't have to. Get in the car. I'll cover you. Like he wants us to jump from a moving car into a moving car. Uh -uh. That was fun! Come on, gang! <coughs> Whoa, what's happening? I thought someone was tailing us, but I guess I... Yeah, maybe you should slow down. You know, safety. <laughs> Someone's supposed to say holy something about now? Oh, um, holy surrounded by bat villains. Not quite. Try holy Custer's last stand, Batman. How are you so good at this? Actually, there's one remaining mystery that we've finally solved. The biggest question of them all, who is the Batman? And we finally figured out the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this should be good. Batman is the warmest, kindest, most big-hearted soul we've ever met. A great big teddy bat. Oh. Then I hope you'll keep that to yourselves. The criminal underworld would have a field day if they knew. Your secret's safe with us. See, Daph? You got this leadership thing in the bag. All you needed was a little encouragement. A cheering section! You're not about to whip out the pom-poms, are you? I mean it. I'm sorry if I never saw it before, Dav, but you're the engine that makes this whole team run. Aw, I may be the engine, but you'll always be the driver. We've been close a long time as close as friends can be But in my heart's a sea 